Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and today I'm posting a response to Exuma and Cube Hamster's Daylight Sensor button, a button that is activated by changing the state of a daylight sensor from day to night or night to day, which, if you didn't know, is possible in the new snapshots. Their design was pretty big, so they asked their subscribers to try to compact it, and this is what I came up with. It doesn't look that small per se, but it is pretty compact for what it does. It determines whether the state of this daylight sensor has changed by performing four subtractions. It subtracts the input from day and night, and it subtracts day and night from the input. If this is day, for example, which it is right now, then this subtracted from this will always be zero on both sides. And this is only one because this goes down by one, but over here it is zero. So this piston will never be activated until it's switched to night mode, and either it will be greater than or less than day, and depending on which one it is, one of these sides will turn on and will send a one tick pulse through the piston and activate this lamp. And once it has done that, this piston will stay extended indefinitely because when this changes to off, this one will change to on, and it will stay like this until it is switched again. All right, now that I've pretty much explained it, I will get on to the tutorial. To build this, you will need everything you see in my hotbar. We'll start off by placing the block that you will take your output from and putting redstone dust on top. Now, when I use top slabs, it means that you can use any block you want, whether it be full or not, but the full blocks have to be full. Okay, so we'll put repeaters here and take that from pistons on either side, both with a block on top. And on either side of the pistons, we will put blocks of your choosing. On one side, put a repeater on two tick delay. And on the other side, put one tick delay repeaters. On the one tick side, just put a block like this with redstone on top. And on the two tick side, put a block with redstone behind it and next to that, up one, a block with redstone on top, like that. Right behind those blocks, put three others and two comparators, one here, one here, both on subtract mode with redstone dust in the middle, and place a block there to cut them off. On this side, we will place a two by three shelf of these, like this, and redstone dust right here two comparators on subtract mode, and three comparators in a line like this. On top of this center block, put a dot of redstone and your input daylight sensor, and between these comparators, put two more daylight sensors, one on night mode, and now you are finished. You can then take your output from here in the form of a one tick pulse, like this. But if you want a longer pulse, you can just add a repeater, and extend it. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time.